and welcome back to my channel, the place to be for all the parenting strategies to get your little ones sleeping really, really well. So in this little mini series, I am covering different tips and strategies for managing the clock changes, particularly the clock change where we spring forward and the clocks go forward by an hour. So how can we help our little ones adjust when the clocks go forward an hour? I am gonna give you my second option today. I covered the very gradual approach in the last episode, but in this episode, I'm giving you what I call meat in the middle. So stick around, I'm gonna explain what that means and who might use it and why this might be the right approach for you. Okay, so meet in the middle. When it comes to meeting in the middle with this clock change, what that means is, quite simply, you meet the time change halfway. So if bedtime is normally 7 p.m., and we know that during the night, once they've gone to bed on Saturday, when they wake up on Sunday, the clocks will have moved forward an hour. So we're gonna meet in the middle and split that, that difference. So instead of going to bed that whole hour earlier at 6 p.m., we're gonna just go half an hour earlier and go to bed at 6.30. So if bedtime's normally 7 p.m., put them to bed 30 minutes earlier at 6.30 or whatever the time may be. The key is when you meet in the middle, you go to bed 30 minutes earlier. It's as simple as that, really straightforward. Now, why is this a good approach? This is a good approach because we're not trying to adjust our sleep pattern by a whole hour in one go, but we also know that we are ready for slight, you know, a big enough jump. We can manage half an hour difference. And if your little one can manage half an hour earlier, you know that they're tired enough and can settle 30 minutes earlier, then great, this could be a really good approach for you. It means that they can still sleep for close to their usual number of sleep hours in the night without waking up at a drastically different time in the morning when the clocks have gone forward. It just helps to try and keep them roughly on track and move them into that new time. So who is this for and who isn't this for? Well, in the previous episode, I explained how the very gradual approach of moving 15 minute increments from Wednesday night is a really good approach for the very sensitive types and the younger babies and those are napping quite a lot where you know a few minutes really counts to their schedule. This approach would be more suited to perhaps toddlers or even young children um, who maybe are napping once a day or not napping anymore, but you still wouldn't really be able to push them to go a whole hour earlier to bed because that might be too extreme for them. So that, you know, this is who this is for. This is kind of the kind of safe bet in the middle um, option. One of the pitfalls could be that you go for it and you think, okay, that's fine, here we go, bedtime is like clockwork every day and it's Saturday night, now we're going to go to bed half an hour earlier. And they just lie there and they don't fall asleep or they mess about or they're fussing. And you think, oh, well, I tried, but they didn't actually go to sleep any earlier. Don't worry, at least you tried. See how long they do that night. Take the next day on the new time and see if getting to bed a little bit earlier the next day helps because that might be the answer too but at least you tried and actually by going to bed you're giving the brain all the right signals that now is sleep time and they're starting to move into that new time for their body clock so it's worth doing anyway but if you suspect maybe they will be the kind that are gonna just not be sleepy then maybe you should watch the previous episode and look at the more gradual approach to this so that we're nudging that body clock slightly each night over a number of nights before we get to that saturday night and when the clocks are going to change in the night coming up in my next episode i am going to tell you about the one fell swoop all in one go option and um, why you may or may not choose to do that um, so come back to me and check that one out. But in the meantime, sleep soundly and get ready because spring is on its way. Thanks so much for watching. If you've liked anything about this episode, then please leave a comment below and hit subscribe for more episodes like this. If any of your friends would benefit from seeing this video, then please do share it with them using the hashtag the sleep nanny. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon.